Hey guys, my name is Meredith and today we're reviewing the Yamaha SV-130. I've owned this for about two years now and I'm going to go over a bunch of things. So if you just want to look at one aspect of this, I made a bunch of shortcuts in the description. So if you go down there, you can see a list of everything I'm going to go through and you can just jump to it. If not, I'm going to get started. So I bought this violin at a local music store. Someone traded it in used, but it's practically new and I paid about $500 plus tax. Now, if you want to buy it new, it's going to cost more than that. If you go on Yamaha's website, it's $1,055, which is kind of expensive. But if you hop on over to Amazon, you can find this model in the candy apple red or brown and black for $740. And the exact same brown model also goes for $879. Now, this just depends on the seller and the time period you go. So these prices could be different when you go look today. So when you buy your SV-130 brand new, it's going to come with a lot of accessories. Along with the violin, it also comes with its own bow. It comes with a really nice case. I really, I really like this case. It comes with its own rest that's specialized for it. It also comes with a small box of rosin, a cable to plug it in, and some earbuds that you can use with it. So the strings that come on this instrument are red label steel core strings that go for about $20. So they're not super high quality, but they're also not low quality. In a lot of the reviews I've done previously, the violin strings that come with it are garbage. And I say, get new ones immediately. Don't even play them, don't even try. But I actually like these ones enough that I rebought them when I changed my strings a few months ago. But if you do want to sound better, you can definitely upgrade. So the SV-130 actually comes with its own custom rest that goes in the back. There are two adjustment holes for it. I think that this is extremely comfortable. Like, I love this. And if you're someone who plays without a rest, there is a base that you can rest on your shoulder. So you can play without it. I personally find it very uncomfortable, but if you don't want to use a rest, you can get away without it. So in my past reviews, I've typically told you guys to get a different bow than what comes with the instrument. If you have your own bow, keep using it or to just go buy a new one. Unfortunately for this review, I couldn't verify the bow that I got was the original that came with the Yamaha SV-130. Um, but since this is a higher quality instrument, I don't think that the bow would be as garbage as the $100 violins with the bows that I've reviewed in the past. But if you are in the market looking for a bow, I currently use a Carl Wilhelm uh, carbon fiber and this goes for about $140-ish on Amazon and I've loved it. I've never used carbon fiber and I like it a lot. But if this is your first violin, the bow that comes with it is going to be much higher quality than the violins from China that I have reviewed previously. So the bridge on this is really nice. I didn't have to replace it or anything. I like the angle it's at. If you're someone who's used to something more extreme, you can switch it out. But I've liked it, never had to replace it. And I actually did drop this from about four feet in the air. It fell out of its case. It fell and landed face first and it was fine. Nothing broke. The bridge didn't even snap, which like shocked me. Um, so that's awesome. Not gonna question it. So the bridge is apparently very sturdy, not saying that if you drop it, it won't break, but that this is a pretty durable instrument. So now we're gonna take a look at the features on the back of the violin. This takes two AA batteries, which is very convenient since AA batteries are pretty universal. We also have the volume knob and we have an off on and reverb switch. So what's great about this and what I really love is that it has built in reverb, which sounds awesome. And there's three settings for it. We have room, hall one and hall two. On the side, we have a couple different export options. So we have two eighth inch ports, so you can use those for headphones if you want, but I love that this has a quarter inch export. It just sounds so much better using the quarter inch than using the eighth inch on the other violins that I own that are cheaper. So now I'm gonna show you guys how this sounds. Now this is kind of tricky because recording audio through the camera like doesn't sound as good as it does in person. So to try to combat that a little bit, I'm using my Zoom recorder. Um, it's like a $200 audio recorder that was recommended to me by a friend. And I use this to record all my performances now. So what I'm gonna do is I have this going, so I'm gonna play unplugged and show you what it sounds like. And then I'm gonna show you a clip of me performing. And I have the reverb on during that performance. And I had this recording it, so it's better quality than a camera. So. Let me show you what it sounds like when this is unplugged.
I love about the Yamaha SV130 is that you can use it to record music. Now, using an acoustic violin in a studio obviously is higher quality, but if you're someone like me didn't have access to a music studio, um, you can record and mix the violin to make it sound better. So the video I'm about to show is the final product of recording and editing with this violin. So that's my review of Yamaha's SV-130. If you guys were looking into whether you wanted to get this or not, I do highly recommend it, mainly because of the built-in reverb on the back, uh, the fact it takes AA batteries and not like D batteries or something obnoxious, and the quarter inch is great, and the fact that I dropped this from four feet in the air and it somehow survived that fall. So if you're looking into it, I recommend it. If you're just getting into the instrument and you're not sure if you're going to stick with it, I recommend getting the Cecilio like $100 cheapo violin so that if you don't stick with it, it was only $100. And then if you want to upgrade, go to this. It's awesome. So if I missed anything or you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try to answer it. And if there's anything else you guys want me to review or would like to see in the future on my channel, let me know and maybe it'll be one of my next videos. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.